Well, hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your career and finance reading. This reading is for the next four to six weeks. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. I thank each and every one of you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. It truly means a lot to me. And we are going to dig in. So let's see what's going on with my Cappies for the next four to six weeks concerning your career and your money. Money, money, money. We know you Capricorns like your money. You like to make your money. You're hard workers. And, you know, when I was doing the pre-shuffle, I did see the wish card. The Nine of Cups. So it's something that you've been dreaming of, something you've been wishing of, that could be coming to fruition in the next four to six weeks, or you might be seeing some tangible results. Okay, let's get in. Show me Capricorn's energy here. Two of Pentacles. I want it. I don't know how I'm going to get it. Let's see what we have here in your foundation here, in your foundation layer. Knight of Cups. Beautiful. What did I just say? I saw it in the pre-shuffle and there it is. It's coming up and it's your energy here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous energy here. Okay, so, okay, so you're moving into this energy here. You're like, you may have been teetering something back and forth. Do I or don't I? Do I want this option? Do I want the, that option? Do I go in this direction? Do I go in that direction? And I see you trying to find that balance and trying to weigh your options here. But the, the thing is, is that the situation is calling for you to follow your heart, follow your instincts, follow that intuition. The Nine of Cups here is the vehicle that is driving your intuition, that is driving you forward towards something that you truly desire. Hence, Nine of Cups. I want this. I desire this. This is what I'm wishing for. This is what I'm manifesting. So you are manifesting something here, my dear Capricorns. Okay, let's continue here. Let's continue. Show me, please. Show me. Show me. Show me. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. Of course, Capricorn, this is you all day long, okay? When something is plateaued, when something seems to like, um, when the growth is stunted or you feel like something is going very, very slow, you have the patience of a saint, but you have a tendency to know how to jumpstart when you get stuck. Okay, show me. A magician you know how to get you know what you need to do but sometimes you have a hard time taking that action that is that cautious nature that you have okay you know what you need to do you know that you have the skills but maybe you doubt them we shall see when I do the clarifiers but there is this energy of feeling stuck and needing to get unstuck needing to move forward you know you have to do it. You know that you know what you need to do. It is like getting off your duff, hon. Getting off your duff and getting it moving here. Okay, show me the future line, please. Show me the future. Ace of Pentacles. Gorgeous. The sun. <laughs> Honey, you can't ask for better cards here in your, in your future orientation here. You can't ask for better cards. There is an opportunity that is going to make you extremely happy. The Emperor. And the Six of Cups. Okay. What I'm getting here is... And both of, both of these came out together. This is command. You may have had some memories of the past. You may have there been, may have been some energy from the past that might have been holding you back. But you, the emperor, are in control. You, the emperor, is taking control and not allowing energy to hold you back. The air balloons in here is talking about taking off. You know, you may be leaving something behind or somebody behind, just saying. <clears throat> but 
it's like you may be visiting the past, but you can't live there. And that's what they're saying here. Don't live in the past. Take command. I, the emperor, am moving on beyond this past. And I am doing something new. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Overall energy. Six of Pentacles. Okay. There's, the overall energy is whatever you put into something is what you're going to get out, oh, Capricorn. And you tend to give something your all. And when you put out that energy, and I'm hearing law of attraction is key. When you put out something positive and you put out your best efforts, you're going to receive that in return. Okay. Underlining is the King of Swords. You are determined. This is making up your mind. Okay, I made up my mind. My path is lighted. I see the light. I see the path. I see it very clearly. I am making the determination. I am following it. I am doing it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous energy. Okay, let's start here with the Six of Pentacles. Show me the Six of Pentacles energy, please. Uh, for the overall energy. Or the theme. The overall energy is like the theme. It's like the theme song. You know, whenever you see those movies, you see a movie and it has a theme song. The trailer. Thank you. This is the movie trailer. The movie trailer is you putting in the effort. You giving that, giving something your all. And you reaping the rewards. And there is a sense of balance coming into this. You know, I'm picking up on an energy of a Capricorn that money might be tight. Hence, two of pentacles trying to balance things. Maybe trying to balance the finances to make something happen for you. And it's been slow going. But you've been determined. And I don't even... The emperor is determination, hon. The emperor is determination. It's as long as you're determined to not let obstacles of the past hold you back. Okay. Seriously. Nine of cups. Hun. This is your time. The next four to six weeks is your time to shine. Sun card. Is, that's, I was looking at the sun card at the same time. It's going to be your time to shine. Okay. What else? In the community, Ten of Pentacles. In your family, in your community, the way people see you, you're going to have that financial stability. Boom. Bang. On, hon. <coughs> when you invest in your own financial security, your own business, this is a lifestyle that you are aspiring to obtain. And honey, 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 it is coming. It's coming, sweet Capricorns. Sorry about the bang. That's me putting my coffee cup down. Just putting my coffee cup down. Shh, chill. Okay. Oh my God, I love this. Ah. Okay, so I'm a little bit biased. I'm a cappy too. And I love seeing this. Uh, you know, I'm tired of seeing doom and gloom. It's about time us cappies catch a break and I put a post up on my community page about a t-shirt that says my job's not here to blow sunshine up your ass well it sounds like I'm blowing sunshine up your ass damn but now I'm reading the energies this is what the cards are saying okay oh, show me this two of pentacles this balancing act of Capricorn was doing this is recent. This is past. I feel this is pretty recent, actually. Um, but it's far-reaching. I feel like the change of switch is happening very recently. For a long time, you might have been stuck trying to balance things, trying to balance those finances. Robbing Peter to pay Paul. But, honey, you are moving the fuck away from that. Yep. I feel that very strongly. You know, your finances are finally going to balance. All your hard work that you have been putting in to something, all the energy that you have been putting into something is paying off. Okay, show me this two of pentacles, hon. 
Show me the two of pentacles. And my cards just say, don't call me hun, I'm bitch. Yeah, this is my bitch deck. And because I'm Capricorn, I want to see things really authentically as well for myself. Because I don't want to <clears throat> blow smoke and sunshine up my own ass either. But the bitch is playing along. Ah, six of, pen six of cups again. You got it twice. In the advice and in the past orientation. Echoing each other, mirroring each other. The advice is saying to let it go, let it go. There, there is something from your past that you were holding on to. Something that you, were, you may have felt some deep emotions about that may have held you back. Now, I'm going to put this out there. For some of us cappies, this could be a person. It could be a person or it just simply could be a situation holding on to the fact that we're fucking broke, you know, or whatever the case is. Situational or a person juggling it, trying to find that balance, maybe trying to find that balance to spend time with a person. Somebody may have been taking a lot of our time and our energy. And let's face it, time is money as well. Time is real world 3D shit that it's, it's an asset. Time is an asset. Money's an asset. Time is an asset as well. Okay. And I'm feeling like somebody may have been taking up a lot of your time that may have taken away from your nine of cups. What you were trying to do. And you've been trying to do this balancing act. And the situation's like, you have to follow your heart. You have to do, follow your passion here, hon. I'm not taking all of these. Nope, nope, nope. That's way too much. This is a lot of energy, too. Let's see what we have. Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups, Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Shadow Box, or the Devil. Yeah, you had somebody. Okay, I'm going to put this out there. You have somebody that's making you feel guilty. They, like, you're robbing them of precious time. Honey, it's the other way around, but they turn it to make it look like you're the one that's robbing them of time. They don't give a rat's ass what your aspirations are. They don't give a rat's ass of your goals and your dreams. It's all about them. I'm getting a very selfish energy here. So they may be using words, pain, and using pain and hurt. I am so hurt that you are out doing this or out doing that. And I, I want to spend time with you, but you are out traveling or you're out with your friends or whatever. Maybe you're running a business and you have a certain window where you could do your grocery shopping. And they're saying to you, can't you do your grocery shopping at another time, at a later time? I want to, I want to be with you. I, I want some time. I want some attention. That's what I'm getting here. And the Knight of Swords is suggesting that they are being very forceful about it. That's where you're coming from. Appeared saying, time to release that energy. Fuck that shit. Okay. Damn. Okay, show me this Knight of Cups. This is your heart space, honey, opening up to something brand new. This is your heart space opening up. This is you finding that joy and that peace within you. Okay. I almost feel tower energy here. And not happening to you, happening to them. Because uh, I think you're dropping them like a hot potato. Or you should be dropping them like a hot potato. You know? Because. Are they paying your fucking bills? I don't think they are. They're not paying your bills. You are. Four of Wands. Lovers. 
Don't jump to conclusions and say, oh, I'm going to meet the love of my life. This is not a love reading. This is career reading and keeping this into context. This is you doing what you love and bringing a sense of security. You're starting to build something here. You're building something that brings you joy, that brings you peace. This is a passion of yours. This is something that you love doing, literally. And the lover's card is about choices and decisions as well. You are making the decision to follow your heart's desire, to do what you love, and you are going to build upon that. And you... <laughs> It's going to come and maybe a little bit slow. You might have hit, maybe hitting plateaus here and there. But honey, you're getting there. Your future orientation is telling me that. Okay. Okay, show me this nine of cups. Show me Capricorn's energy here. This nine of cups energy. Show me this nine of cups. Show me this nine of cups. Show me this nine of cups. Wheel of fortune. God damn. I mean, I am like totally blown away by this ring. Totally blown away. The wheel's turning. There's change in the wind. Honey. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Can you say... Your wish is my command, Cappy. The universe is saying, your wish is my command. What did I fucking just say about the fucking power? You're going to shock the shit out of somebody with this. You are making a massive, massive change here. You're doing it. It's not happening to you. You are doing it. Somebody is going to be like, what just happened? They're not going to, it, it's like, I see the jaw, jaw, somebody's jaw dropping to the floor. Like, I can't believe Capricorn just did this. I can't believe Capricorn just cut me off. I can't believe the Capricorn is taking control. I can't believe, I can't believe. Somebody is going to be like, crushed i'm sorry but my opinion is they have it coming to them hun they have it coming to them because they've held you back and you are breaking free and you are going through this radical change and as a result of you releasing this energy and going through this radical change creating you are creating your own destiny you're writing your own in your own destiny book you are creating this radical change and your <clears throat> and your nine of cups it's like okay now you're free here's your wish here's your wish in your foundation line it is the nine of cups and you are creating that radical change and bringing that abundance and that wish towards you you are attracting it i'm surprised i don't see fucking magician energy here because honey you are in manifestation mode if i do say so myself okay um okay we are going to look at the seven of pentacles and i know what deck i want i just gotta find it there it is this belongs to that other deck gotta love it what that what card is that queen of bones that's the queen of pen um queen of um wands here oh yeah you're fired up you're passionate yep furs there's a sense of excitement around you here, Capricorn. Sun on the... There's the sun and the two of wands on the cut here. Oh, yeah. You see your sun. You see it. It's in your sights, huh? It's in your sights. 
Now, the Seven of Pentacles, I do not see this as, ne as necessary. Necessary. Is there such a word as necessary? Necessarily negative. Okay? It is grow growth. You know, <clears throat> this is saying that you've been at it for a long time. You've been trying and trying and trying. Now, you have been plateaued. But this is what is going for you. This is what's positive. This is what is in your favor here. Your strengths. You are overcoming a plateau. And I feel like all of a sudden, if you look here in this card, if my nails will allow me to pick it up, look at all this. Look at all this. And you're holding an apple. A huge half of an apple. Okay, honey, this is talking about finally, finally, the fruits are coming in. Finally, that tree that you planted a long time ago, it's taken root, and look at all this. Okay, yes, it can be a plateau card, but I am reading intuitively now. They told me to look at the image, throw the book meaning, throw the other meanings out the window, Something is coming in. The fruits of your labor. Show me the Seven of Pentacles, please. And the str Capricorn Strengths. Show me this Seven of Pentacles and Capricorn Strength here. King of Cups. Your heart space is wide open. Some of you may be in some kind of healing arts, or you might be, I'm getting spiritual, counseling, or something like that, two of wands. Again, you're good at vision, visualizing your end result with the Ten of Cups. You're definitely somebody who knows how to keep their emotions in check and be grounded. You're very, very grounded. You're grounded in the 3D. You're grounded in the real world. And you are definitely in planning mode and you know how to plan. You're good at planning and you're good at seeing that vision for the long haul of in the distant future. And you're making adjustments. I'm hearing adjustments to the plan as needed sometimes you have to take a detour but you're going to get there you're good at navigating your way and getting over plateaus and it might be emotional plateaus sometimes you know sometimes when things don't go the way that we want them to go or things are not going as fast as we want them to go we can allow our emotions to overtake us and cloud our judgment and instead of being grounded. And I see that as one of your strong strengths here, when your emotions become overwhelming, you know how to get back to the roots. You know how to get back to the basics, getting grounded here and refocusing your vision and saying, okay, that did not work. But I could go this way. I can make this little tweak here. You know, you, you understand what I'm saying. You're good at tweaking justice. And you know that it feels right. Huh. Dropping um, some tarot cards there. Interesting. Interesting. Some of you may be tarot readers, actually. Like myself. Okay, show me. Oh, there is the Magician card. I says, I'm surprised the Magician isn't here. There it is. Show me this Magician energy. This is kind of coming up in the obstacles. It's like, you know you want this, but why are you? Why is acting upon it becoming a struggle or an obstacle here? A challenge. Acting upon this as a challenge, why is that? Show me this magician energy. 
show me this magician energy okay some of you okay they're telling me that some of you may have some more learning to do um to more master something some kind of skill whether it's business skill i do not know um, yeah that's what it is you know needing to learn to master growth how to make something growth you birth something but you sometimes struggle with trying to get it to grow even even though that and but this is about the patience and it's finally coming in but i feel like that you're challenged with understanding what actions you need to take to make something grow or even how to give birth to something maybe there's something that you have maybe something's just in the idea phase like this ace of pentacles see you're trying to plant the seed but you're not sure how to water it or how to make it grow and you may have tried in the past and you might have set yourself up for disappointment okay i feel like you don't deal with rejection and disappointment very well okay what else strength and they're saying despite that and i'm seeing there is the need to find that courage to push forward and not allow past rejection past disappointments to stand in your way you have a strong mind you have a strong will okay but i think that there is that understanding and of how to grow something so that you don't set yourself up for disappointment and i feel as though past disappointments is what holds you back that keeps you from taking that leap and taking action it's like i'm hearing i've been down this road before i've been down this road before well honey avoid that pothole you've been down that road you know where the potholes are okay yes i'm from pennsylvania the state of potholes okay you've been down that pot that road you know where the potholes are don't let the potholes swallow you up this time you know where they're at you know where the pitfalls are so it may seem like an obstacle course okay obstacle courses can, are meant to be challenging they are challenging but what this challenge does is it strengthens you strengthens your soul strengthens your spirit strengthens your energy and this is in preparation for what is to come okay mm, very strong messages here for you um i almost said scorpio almost had a little bit of a Freudian slip there king of cups somebody may have been dealing with a scorpio or with somebody with scorpio in their chart but scorpio wanted to fly out of my mouth okay underlining energy queen of pentacles be practical comfortable ah thank you thank you underlying queen of pentacles comfort zone got to take that chance you got to take action get out of that comfort zone okay show me star yeah you need to follow your star path get a step out of that comfort zone is to follow your path that's the only way that you're going to succeed okay success is written all over this as long as you step outside that comfort zone okay i understand okay there's potholes potholes i know that i just have to avoid them this time i know where they're at they swallowed me up they got they gave me a flat tire and stopped me dead in my tracks before uh, they're not giving me a flat tire this time okay show me this ace of pentacles in the future orientation please show me this ace of pentacles in the future orientation show me this ace of pentacles ten of pentacles <laughs> Honey, honey, damn, you're going from the ace to the ten. That's like being at a dead stop and going to 120 miles an hour at 
and you're there bypassing everything else. You're just, you don't see 30 or 50 or 60. You're boom there at 120. Okay. That's, you are building some stability here. Five of Wands, not that it's not going to have its challenges. It is. You might even be dealing with people that are going to try to challenge you. Okay, thank you. There might be people in the community that tries to challenge your authority or tries to challenge you as you try to build that Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Diligent. Workhorse. But keep on working at it. Regardless. Okay. Three of Swords energy. They're drawing me back to the Three of Swords. Time, this is time to the Three of Swords. That disappointment. Heartbreak. Maybe even people putting you down and making you feel bad. There we are right here. People challenging you because you're trying to do good. And you're trying to do something with your life. With your career path. With your finances. You are definitely moving in something in a place that's positive. You're going to have somebody that's going to challenge you on that. And I feel my guides are directing me back to here. As you try to let this person go, yeah, they're going to stand up and try to challenge you. Because I'm feeling like maybe they already have their Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Never minding that you're trying to build yours. There is some mirroring aspects in this reading. So there is somebody that is reflecting back on you. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. They're established. They are established. So. They're challenging you as you're trying to establish yourself. Whether that is out of jealousy. Okay. That is correct. They're telling me it, that is correct. Jealousy. But it's more like jealous of your success, not in the fact that they don't want you to be successful or that you are successful, but more like jealous of the success is taking your time and your attention away from them. Anything else here? There's that Queen of Pentacles again. You are slowly moving towards your comfort zone, to a new comfort zone. A new practicality, a new, it's like comfortable zone, home life, financial comfort. And you are nurturing this. That's why you're getting opposition. You're nurturing your path, your star pathway, and it's taking time away from them. Damn, you have somebody that's, I'm feeling like an M, also like almost like an energy vampire. You're trying to make strides and changes in your life towards your financial success and financial freedom. You are going to get your financial freedom. I'm telling you. I see it. But you got somebody that's so demanding of your time and energy. They call, yeah, they call them energy vampires. Got to be mindful of that. Okay, show me the sun card and the potential outcome. But you're going to shine. You are going to shine. It's your time to shine. It is going to, it is your time to shine. Okay. Why is that suspended? Capricorn, this is looking good up until here. Let's see what the suspension, why is the sun being suspended? Queen of Wands, again. Okay, I've got the Queen of Wands. What's her message? Because this is like a contradictory. The Queen of Wands just gets up and gets going. There's okay, there might have been a time of suspension. There might be a time of suspension, but it's going. you are going to get up and get going, maybe. King of Swords. Okay, you got some. 
I wish this motherfucker would go away. Some of you, this could be some sense of legality. Or you're dealing with somebody that is a king of swords. You're dealing with somebody who is a hardhead. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. You're dealing with somebody that's a heart at Ace of Cups. Honey, don't let love get in the way of this. <laughs> okay. This is what I'm getting. Okay, I feel, okay, this is I'm feeling like this is a different energy from this. This is somebody new. Ace of Cups underlining. This is somebody new that might be getting your heart space jump started. You've been really focused on your career. You've been going places with your business or your career path, whatever. And then you got somebody throwing a, a, a monkey wrench in it. Might be suspending your son for a little bit because somebody may be getting your attention or trying to get your attention. A new connection that might be passionate and loving, but you're dealing with somebody that No, uh, there's it could be the same person. Their energies are similar but different. Maybe they're finally wanting to offer you their heart, offer you an emotional experience, start over type experience. But that once again you get caught in that trap of suspension of your son. Just be mindful of that. Tell me about this King of Swords. What is up with these two people? We got a King and Queen here. This is a couple. I shuffled. And it popped the fuck popped the fuck out. Yeah, this is a love connection that might be suspending your progress forward. Now the sun energy that is that happiness and stuff, but that is fulfillment goal accomplished that is like I said you shining but there's a big neon sign here that says love might suspend that just saying and they're saying here and with the six of cups in the up here I kind of like advice this is your future line. This is, you need, don't allow somebody to control you, hon. I, I'm, I'm seeing an energy of somebody getting in the way. Capricorn, you got to stop letting love get in the way of your success. Love should be an enhancement, not a burden. They should enhance you. They should be supportive. You, It's like you need a support system. You could be dealing with a Taurus here. Um, five of swords, six of pentacles. Um, it's like they're trying to rob you of your time. Don't give up on your dream because of somebody. Don't let somebody talk you into giving up on your dream. Because what you've been doing, you've, you've made so much progress here. Don't give up on that. Don't give up on that. If this person, whoever this is, whether for some, okay, for some of you, it is this person coming back trying to offer you something that they think that you want on the emotional sense, okay? For others of you, this one's gone and somebody new is coming in, and that's another distraction. But I feel very strongly that this person wants to offer you a sense of commitment here. They want a renewal. They want to heal things. The sun could also be, there's elements of healing in the sun as well. They want to heal a connection with you. They want you back. They want to start over again. But it brings on the fucking hanged man energy. A suspension of your dreams.
Now, the, you have the power to change this. You have free choice. It's your decision on what you decide to do. The tarot is not going to tell you what you're going to do or how you're going to do it or what you should do. It can advise, but the ultimate decision is yours, Cappy. The ultimate decision is yours. And they're telling me to say, don't let loneliness get you in a predicament that is going to drown out your financial success, your dreams, your goals, the lifestyle that you want to live. Okay? When you get to that point of you're at the place where you are comfortable financially, love should be an enhancement, not a hindrance. Okay? Here, I'm feeling like a, a connection is a hindrance to your son. It might bring some sense of emotional fulfillment in the romantic sector, but there's still going to be a lack. There's still going to be something missing, which is your drive for success, for the comfortable lifestyle, not having to worry about, okay, the water bill's here. Uh, let me go into the couch and find some change to see if I could get enough change to pay that water bill. No, that's... That has the potential here to come to an end, Capricorn. As long as you don't let your heart space get in the way. And what I mean by your heart space, I mean another person get in the way. You know, if they are coming in to help you with your business, that's another story. By all means, you get love and money both. But if they're going to hinder you, cut the ties. And this, this hanged man card tells me they're a hindrance. Because this is suspended energy. Suspended energy. Sacrifice. Okay, they're telling me that there is a sacrifice that is needed, actually. You might have to sacrifice a relationship. For your financial stability. It's only because somebody's an energy vampire. And the more I, I'm digging in and picking up on these energies, the more I feel back is time back here. Time to back here. Especially with the Six of Cups here. You got the Six of Cups a couple times in this reading. Nostalgia. Memories. Pulling on the heartstrings. Somebody you have a long history with and probably a soul bond with. But you have to play the role of the emperor and be in control. You are the master of your own destiny. You are in control of the direction in which you are going. Okay? Okay, show me this advice energy, please. Show me this advice energy. I'm more interested... In the Six of Cups. Justice. <laughs> Knowing what's right for you. Knowing what's good for you. Nine of Wands. This kind of came out on the sideways. Which is representing to me. Challenges. Part of you wanting to be hold back for this. The other part of you wanting to move forward for this. Okay? Being, tor being um, torn in two directions. That two of wands is speaking volumes. Yep, there it is. The new direction, starting over. Taking a risk, taking a chance. Um... death. Thank you. Bam! Nailed it there. Bam! There it is. Endings. You gotta cut this fucking person off. They are an energy vampire. And they're going to be the hindrance, the suspension of your son in your finances and your career goals. You gotta cut. This is an ending and this is starting over. This is moving on. 
So if you have been torn about what direction you go in, because when this came out of the deck, it was actually on sideways. It wasn't, it wasn't reversed. It wasn't upright. And I'm like trying to figure out. And when I put it upright, the energy did not feel right. So I feel like there's blockages. Okay. And I feel like they're saying blocking any progress forward with the six of cups. It ha you have it, you bringing it to an end. And so that you can follow your path that you were meant to follow. Your star path. I'm sorry that the cards are shiny, but that's what they're saying here. Stop any forward progress with this person. They are reflected here in that potential outcome, and they are reflected back here in the past. This is somebody who's resurfacing, who's offering you something in your heart space, but there's a little bit of control issue here. It's I, I get like it's their way or the highway. They're demanding attention. They're demanding you do this and that you do that. They're robbing you of time, taking time away from your goals, your wishes, your son. They're going to rob you of your fucking son here. Suspended energy. Once again, you're going to find yourself in that suspension. After all the work that you have put in. That's why they're saying, cut it off. Do not move forward with this person anymore. Cut it off. You have a goal. You have a brand new opportunity here. Eight of Wands. And it's going to take off. Fireworks. When you let this person go. When you let this go, you're going to soar to new heights. Okay. You're gonna, you're, it's your time to shine, but don't let energy vampires rob you of your of the spotlight. Don't let them rob you of your son. Okay, show me. Any additional messages, please? Fork in the road. That's what we're talking about. That's where you're at right here. Or even back here. You know, there's that decision. A choice between two roads. You see where you want to be. But you have somebody trying to draw you back in. Fork in the road. Number 13. 13 is the death card. That fork in the road represents that you've got to make a choice to end something. Cut somebody off. In order to build that business, that financial stability. Soulmate. You know, this is kind of like, yeah, this is, a, this is a choice between building your business, your financial stability, your dreams, and a soulmate. Now, let me explain something about soulmates here, Capricorn. Especially those Cappies that might be new to my channel. We have several soulmates. They are what, they are, they are what I call part of our soul tribe. They travel from lifetime to lifetime with us. Some of our soulmates we connect with in a particular lifetime. Others we do not. Maybe it'll be the next lifetime for the other soulmates. But the ones that we connect with, here's where it gets a little bit deeper. There are some that are lifetime soulmates. And soulmates are not always romantic. It could be a best friend. It could be a family member. And yes, it can be romantic, but it's somebody that travels. We learn lessons from each other. That's what soulmates are meant to do. Okay. And some of them are meant to stay as lifelong friends or even a lifelong partnership. Other soulmates are here for a season to teach us something and us to teach them. Okay. That's what this is. So, 
this could have been a soulmate connection that they have trouble letting you go. They they make you feel guilty for not paying a, enough attention to them. And this is a number 41, which reduces to a five, which is a challenge. You have a soulmate that is challenging you, trying to pull on your heartstrings, which is leading to this fork in the road, this decision that you have to make. Okay? And you're trying to make this decision, you're trying to do what's right for you. 13, death card, also reduces to a four for stability. It's all about where your stability lies, what is going to be solid foundation for you, what is, you know, where you're going to have those comforts at home. You're trying to build here. It starts with building blocks. Number 28 reduces to a 10. Wheel of Fortune energy. Okay? And by the way, 5 here is Hierophant. Just saying. Just saying. Ending of a relationship of a soulmate. A fork in the road needing to end the connection. In order to start over. and In order to get that start in life. To build upon. This is like needing to build something solid. Got the tower here in your energy. You're bringing down the tower. You're, you're ending something. Because some, you're, somebody's trying to hold you back. But as you're trying to end it, you're trying to come back with another offer. Just saying. And if you bite, if you bite on that hook, you're going to be suspended. Okay. So they are saying, follow through. Do not follow through with the ending. Do not proceed with this connection. You know, that's their advice. But Cappy, you've got free will to do as you see fit. Okay? Where am I at on time? 52 minutes, okay. Um, I wasn't going to draw any runes. But my bag of runes is over here and they're saying, yep, take the time, throw, throw some runes out here. Let's see what we've got. As you know, I don't take the ones that are turned upside down unless it's the blank rune. So I will check. Okay, no blank rune. This is one of them that I've talked about in other readings that it's on its side. It's not turned upside down and it's not upright. It's, a, it's something that is developing and it fell on the full card. So let's take a look at what this rune is. Interesting. Interesting. So it's kind of on its side, which is talking about it's something that's not fully developed yet. It's an energy that's in progress. And this is about joy. I'm not going to say the runic names. I know what they mean. But my pronunciation sucks. And anybody that's been around my channel long enough knows that I say that all the time. Pronouncing names, I fucking suck at it. Okay. Anyhow, this is that joy. This is having, being able to celebrate your success and receiving rewards for your efforts. Okay. Now it's on its side. It's developing. So it is not quite here yet. And I'm being told a lot of it is dependent upon the decision you make right here. Okay. If you follow what and whether or not you follow the advice. You got to take that chance. Got to take that chance on yourself. And not allow other outside influences to hold you back aka love okay i may be sounding like a, a, a little bit cynical of love i might because in you know, being the capricorn that i am and being the experiences that i've had but you know i'm all for finding love but i'm feeling like back here wheel of fortune is talking about timing there's a timing element a, a certain pacing of, about this reading 
that it's like the time just is not right for love right now. You need to get yourself stable. Okay. And I do apologize about the sun that's on the game upstairs. Just saying. Okay. Then this fell. There is no reversal on this one. This is upright. No, same meaning no matter what direction. And this fell on the strength card. And on this pile here of your obstacles. So. Now this one. Um, like I said, I'm not going to try to pronounce the name, but it's about sigil. This has been coming up a lot in my readings lately for various signs and different readings. Again, we talk about success. You got two runes here about success. One of them in your obstacles and one of them here that is not fully developed because it depends on you. Okay. You know, you have good fortune coming to you and this is about being enlightened on where your weaknesses are. Being enlightened on what your challenges are and overcoming those challenges because, honey, as these two together are both success, 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 you know, enlightenment. Being in the spotlight with this one, recognition for your success, having a bunch of energy, it's, there's vitality here. Okay? So, you know what your challenge is this um, next four to six weeks, Capricorn? Pfft. Your biggest challenge is you and this. These two are directly tied. These are directly tied. Bring down, bring down that tower, honey. Bring down that tower. I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you found this enlightening, helpful, and useful. Please hit, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and comment. I love each and every one of you. Love and light. Blessed be.